What is a carbon footprint? It's banded about, but what is it exactly? Carbon footprint is an assessment of the greenhouse gases emitted either directly or indirectly by an individual or a company or a product as a result of that activity. And to understand that, it's need to understand what the greenhouse gases are, which are carbon dioxide, principally carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide, and they are all expressed as a carbon dioxide equivalent, which means in the case of methane that you multiply the amount of methane that you have utilised or omitted during the process by a factor of 21 to give it a carbon dioxide equivalent, and for nitrous oxide you multiply it by a factor of 310. So if you've got a looking at carbon footprint, you calculate the greenhouse gases that you have emitted during that process, both the carbon dioxide, the methane and the nitrous oxide, amongst others, multiply them by the necessary factor to get them to a carbon dioxide equivalent and express it as carbon footprint in carbon dioxide equivalents. Globally, mankind emits in total greenhouse gases as a carbon dioxide equivalent 6.1 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide. Now about half of that is reabsorbed by the globe in the oceans and the landscape so we are ending up with about 3.2 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide being emitted into the atmosphere which is contributing directly to the global warming and that's what we're looking to reduce that's that's what we're going to do so you're then looking at you know what's the individual contribution to that 3.2 billion tons of carbon dioxide and this is where you're looking at your own individual carbon footprint the average uk residents carbon footprint is between 9 and 11 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent that if you spit that out as to how they are actually where, that, where that's coming from, you will find that about 20% of that is from recreational activities, about 18% of that or 15% of that right is from heating your house, as is the food production, there's about 15% of that as well. Curiously, sort of hygiene activities, so that's washing your clothes and bathing yourself, is again around about 15%. So quite a large percentage of your carbon footprint is taken up by those general activities. If you look at the similar carbon footprint for somebody, say, in sub-Saharan Africa, it's around about 2.3 tonnes. If you look at the whole of Northern Europe, it's pretty much the same as the UK, which is around about sort of 10 to 11 tonnes. In North America, it goes up to 24 tonnes per person. So you can see there's an enormous distribution here. Globally, mankind is producing about 6.1 million tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent in greenhouse gases per year, of which about just under half of that is reabsorbed. So suppose I go to Sainsbury's and I buy some frozen prawns. What would you, could you make a guesstimate? Could you explain how the carbon footprint on that is broken down. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Suppose I go. If you're looking at frozen prawns and so say, right, I've gone into the Sainsbury's, I've gone into the deep fridge, and I've picked up a pack of frozen prawns. What? What are the likely? factors contributing to the carbon footprint for this. If we assume that those prawns have been farmed rather than captured at the sea or whatever else, then we can look at what are the what's gone into feeding those prawns. So you look at what the feed that's gone into it, what energy has been consumed by the farm for the so what are the nets that he's used, how does he trap them, what is it, you know, the, the consumption of 
firm, electricity, etc., surrounding around that farm. So you look at that, you then say, right, once you've done that, you then take, you capture the prawns, what are you looking at in the um, consumption of fuel in the shelling of the prawns, the transportation of the prawns, the freezing of the prawns, the packing of the prawns, and then the transportation from the frozen pack to the supermarket and then you're looking at the energy consumed during the process of keeping that product cool and frozen from the day it's been frozen through the time you pull it out of the freezer. And would you expect fresh prawns to have a lower carbon footprint? You would expect from a similar part of the fresh world. Fresh wild prawns to have a lower carbon footprint. But without sitting down and doing it, I couldn't give you an indication of how different it would be.